So what is gut health and why is it important? Let's talk about it. Gut health basically means an optimally functioning gastrointestinal tract. All of the tissues and organs between your mouth to your anus affect digestion and absorption of nutrients. If your gut is not healthy, you're not going to get the nutrients that your body needs in order to function optimally. Plus your gut is one of the first line of defenses for your immune system. Most people with autoimmune conditions have an unhealthy gut. An unhealthy gut can also lead to hormonal imbalances because you need a healthy gut with healthy microflora in order to metabolize your hormones properly. In the small intestine, the endothelial lining allows micronutrients to pass through to your bloodstream like amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, as well as vitamins and minerals. If your gut is not functioning normally, you will not absorb your nutrients properly. You have a transpermeable membrane lining your colon, which functions to pull water in or out of the feces so that it forms and passes easily. If the colon lining becomes damaged by infection or inflammation, the cells are too far apart and that leads to what's called a leaky gut. A leaky gut allows toxins and allergens to pass from the feces into the bloodstream, and this can trigger an exaggerated immune response, including autoimmunity, where your immune system attacks normal cells. Another reason why gut health is so important to is the brain-gut connection. Via your hypothalamus, your brain and your gut talk to each other. Your hypothalamus is incredibly sensitive to the neuroendocrine function of the gut, and that means the nervous system and the hormone production of the gut. Yes, your gut makes hormones too. Imbalances in the gut-brain connection can lead to mood disorders and affect memory, weight, and metabolism. There's also a connection between the lungs and the gut. An unhealthy gut can cause an inflammatory reaction in the lungs leading to respiratory diseases. And maintaining optimal gut health is more than taking probiotics to replenish the good bacteria in your intestine. There's prebiotics and postbiotics to consider. Prebiotics function as food for probiotics and postbiotics are the bioactive compounds produced by probiotics. Plus, diagnosing functional gut issues can be difficult without a comprehensive digestive stool analysis. Are you producing enough digestive enzymes and bile salts? Is your gut pH proper for digestion and absorption? Do you have enough beneficial bacteria as well as a variety of commensal microflora to support your beneficial bacteria? Are your microflora producing adequate amounts of postbiotics to keep your gut healthy? Do you have any pathogens in your gut, including an overgrowth of candida? Do you have any signs of immune reactions or inflammation? There's so much information we can get by evaluating your stool to determine whether your gut is healthy. If you have any questions about gut health, please join me in our hormone support group. You'll get access through our free hormone reboot training. Treatment for an unhealthy gut is not just about probiotics. It can be complicated. So check out my next video.